Harry may have to adjust his expectations of key witness, says judge in mail hearing. Mr. Justice Nicklin warns public figures over private detective who flatly denies hacking claims. A judge today warned that Prince Harry and others may have to adjust their expectations of a private detective who has flatly rebutted claims that he confessed to hacking them for Associated Newspapers. The Duke and five other public figures suing the publisher of the Daily Mail in the Mail on Sunday have cited Gavin Burroughs coming forward with admissions of phone hacking, along with house and car bugging, as a catalyst for their legal action. But Mr. Burroughs has given a statement to the High Court setting out detailed denials to the allegations made by Harry, Sir Elton John, Elizabeth Hurley, David Furnish, Sadie Frost, and Baroness Lawrence. Today, Mr. Justice Nicklin told the court, they may have to adjust their expectation of Mr. Burroughs in light of the statement he made. Mr. Burroughs is a key witness in the case. The claimants have given the court a Burroughs statement from 18 months ago in which he catalogued hundreds of jobs he allegedly did for the mail's newspapers including mobile phone hacking, landline tapping, and bugging victims' homes and cars. But Mr. Burroughs says in a statement signed this month, it is false. I wish to make clear that I was never instructed or commissioned by anyone at the Mail on Sunday or the Daily Mail to conduct unlawful information gathering on their behalf. During exchanges in today's preliminary hearing of the case, the judge asked if anyone had asked Mr. Burroughs to explain the discrepancies between the two statements. Adrian Beltrami KC, for the newspaper group, said, My lord, he has been asked about it, the first statement. He says it's not true. The judge replied, well, there's a trial point here, meaning the issue would have to be resolved at a trial. The case is still at an early stage, and Associated Newspapers, the publisher of the Mail on Sunday and Daily Mail, is applying for the case to be dismissed without a trial. Mr. Beltrami said, in terms of credibility, one asks, can one take Mr. Burroughs' first statement to trial when it is completely contradicted by the second statement? He said, there is a statement of March 8, 2023 signed by Mr. Burroughs in which he systematically goes through every one of the allegations and makes it clear that they are not true. He says of allegations and the claims this is false and I was never instructed, he goes through each of the particulars of claim and essentially gives the same response. Mr. Burroughs' 2021 witness statement for Prince Harry and others was only served to the court by their lawyers after they received his 2023 rebuttal on behalf of Associated. It was also not included when the claimant's own witness statements were released by their lawyers yesterday. It was not given to journalists covering the case until they made representations today. Mr. Beltrami described the alleged confessions of Mr. Burroughs as the all important trigger for the public figures launching their cases and the essential facts now being relied on. The KC also highlighted problems with another alleged whistleblower held up by the claimants. Daniel Portley Hanks says in a witness statement before the court that he was a private investigator in the United States who performed work for the Daily Mail and Mail on Sunday. But Mr. Beltrami said the Hanks statement was notable for not saying that he had targeted any of the claimants in this case for the mail and there were no exhibits connecting him to the claimants or defendants. The newspaper group reiterated to the court that the claims against it were completely denied and said they had no real prospects of succeeding if they went to a trial. It argued all the cases should be dismissed or a judgment made in its favor without a trial.